I want to turn now to the top Republican in the Senate, Mitch McConnell of Kentucky. Uh, Senator, welcome back. Good morning. Let me get right to it and start on the IRS. Why don't you accept the word from not only White House officials, but from the former acting commissioner who said these were foolish mistakes about targeting cons uh, conservative groups, but there is not evidence of a political agenda? Actually, there is a culture of intimidation throughout the administration. The IRS is just the most recent example. Let me just recount a few f for your audience. Over at HHS, back during the Obamacare debate, Secretary Sebelia sent out a directive to health insurance companies telling them they couldn't inform their policyholders of what they thought the impact of Obamacare would be on them. Now she's uh, trying to shake them down for contributions, in effect, to a group to go out and try to convince the public that uh, they should love Obamacare. Over at the FCC, there have been efforts by Obama appointees uh, to, to shut down or make difficult uh, people who are seeking to buy advertising uh, to criticize the administration. Over at the SEC, their Obama appointees have been engaged in an effort to make it difficult for corporations to exercise their First Amendment political rights. The IRS, coming back to the IRS, the head of the union at the IRS uh, gives 99% of her campaign money uh, to Democrats. Uh, she openly criticizes the Republican House for trying to reduce government spending and has specifically targeted uh, Tea Party groups in her public comments. It's no wonder that the agents in the IRS sort of get the message. Uh, the president uh, demonizes his opponent. Uh, the head of their union demonizes uh, but people Senator, who that, think that, that we is ought a to leap, have... That's a leap that you can make as argument, but you don't have fact to back it up. 